Oh my, you again. Yes, and I have a problem with you insisting on using a controlled experiment all the time. It is a waste. A good experiment needs just one variable you do not like that? No, I would do an experiment that has at least 10 variables, so you can save time. Why do 10 different experiments when you can do just one? The point of an experiment is to isolate the variable that causes a change. Like a cause and effect type of thing. Why do that when you can't just do or not do 10 things? Let's say you did 10 things before you took a test and you got a 100% on the test. I never got a 100% on a test. We are pretending. Anyway getting the 100% is called the dependent variable. That is what happened, or the thing, that was dependent on what you did. You mean the 10 things I did before the test? Yes, it would be useful to know what caused the 100%, so you could get more in the future. This would be the independent variable, or the thing the scientist, or in this case you, changed. So paying the teacher $100,000 would be the independent variable? Because I think that is why I got my 100%. Yes, the independent variable causes the dependent variable. Or it could be that I copied from the person next to me. Or it could be that I did not wash my underwear. Or that I stuck barbed wire in my nose for luck. You are a strange woman. Maybe but I do not have to worry about how to get an 100% on a test. I have never got one. And I believe you never will.